we are hopeful because of the outstanding results that we saw in the dogs in terms of either stabilizing or shrinking the tumors there and um, how well tolerated the combination of drugs is. So that gives us hope that this will be effective in our pediatric and young adult patients. When you can sit down with a family and say, this is a possible treatment for your disease and it's a treatment that we know has seen responses in this exact same disease in dogs. It's much better than saying when we've seen some responses in some cells in a tissue culture somewhere or we don't know if there's any responses but we think it might work. The dogs and treating dogs with osteosarcoma give me great hope for the future and for future collaborations. We can sit here in the lab and try and develop new drugs for this disease and we know the next step. We know we need to go downstairs. We know we need to see, does it work in the dogs? And we know that if it does, there's a quick path forward down to Children's Hospital and getting these drugs to children. And she was started on the Palladial certain trial and had a really great response. I'm excited about the science that we're gonna get out of it out of Dan's lab too. I think that's equally as important. Besides the hope that we give to the families and the chance for responses, is also what else do we learn about this disease? What do we learn about their responses? What do we learn about what these drugs do? So that we can continue to grow and capitalize and improve on what we're doing. We could not do this without One Cure. Um, so the funding that they are providing is directly funding our clinical trial and particularly the patient enrollment in the clinical trial. It is such a wonderful experience that we've had so far collaborating with CSU and then being supported by One Cure to be able to open this trial so that we can go from true bench to dogs to the humans is fantastic and really, really unique.